Hello students, good evening. Now I am going to bring you an article which is supposed to be dealt as a concept in a few minutes. So let's rock start the article. We have this article as a string constraint and what's the string constraint? See, this is a string and these are the two ends of the string. And this end is having some velocity, let's say V1. This end is also having some velocity V2. And let's say the angles which these two velocities make with the string is theta 2 here and theta 1 here. These are the angles the velocity vectors makes with the string. Now, for the string constraint to be valid, we need to have the component of the velocities, which over here is how much? V1 cos theta 1. And the component of the velocity here, what is that? That is V2 cos theta 2 should be same. That is V1 cos theta 1 should be equal to V2 cos theta 2. This condition is known as the string constraint. And how do we use it in the question? For that, I have two examples for you right now over here. Look at this first example in which this particular block is moving up. So its velocity is given along the string. So we need not to resolve it because it is already along the string. Why if you check the velocity of this particular ball, which is V1, this is not along the string. It is not along the string. So what do we do? We extend this line over here, which is a string line here. This angle is theta. So this angle is theta. Take the component of this over here that becomes v1 cos theta and then the component along the string should be same that generates to me that v1 cos theta should be equal to v2 that's the relation between them and similarly in this particular question the question is demanding what is the value for this angle theta so that's perfectly exactly the same this point is moving up with the velocity va take the component along the string that becomes va cos theta and if you see this this is along the string, so that is VA cos theta and it should be equal to the velocity of this block down, which is given as VB, so hence VA cos theta should be equal to VB, so therefore cos theta becomes equal to how much? To VB upon VA, so you can write theta as cos inverse of VB upon VA. Thanks for watching this lecture, we will be coming with such soon uh, concept in minutes daily.